All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here and check it out. So we're sitting out here at the remote review table. And before we get started talking about these guys right here, I'd like your comments or input on what your thoughts are on this gray brat background. It's not as glaring in my mind. Also, it's really friendly to the color balance or the white balance for the videos. As you can see, I don't have any issues, skin tone, everything else looks good. All right, so just comment down below what your thoughts are on that. I kind of like it. I dig it. So anyway, last week we did a video review on this guy right here, the Aero Precision Bolt Carrier Group, and I give you my thoughts on it. And then I had somebody make a comment on the video, and I'm glad he did on what my thoughts are on, say, this guy right here, Daniel Defense. Okay, so my initial thoughts are this. Bolt Carrier is a bolt carrier, and we're going to go through that, but the differences are in the quality control. And in that, you're going to see that the gas key staking is absolutely perfect. Uh, there are other things, uh, and we'll talk about those as we go. But as far as materials are concerned, uh, they're real close. So first of all, let's talk about this. And in comparison, we'll go over this guy first, and then we'll talk about it and compare it to this guy. But before we do that, let's talk about the carrier's machine from 8620 steel, heavy phosphate chrome line, properly staked gas key made in the USA. The bolt is 158 carpenter steel, high pressure tested, magnetic particle inspected, shock peen, heavy phosphate coated extractor booster. Now we're going to talk about the extractor booster here in a few minutes. What the heck is an extractor booster? Yeah. Okay. So what's the big difference? Because this guy right here, other than being nickel boron as opposed to phosphate coated, is also made from 8620 steel. It is also Carpenter 158 steel, 9310 steel with a nickel boron, HPT, MPI marked, and shot paint. Okay. Let's get into the details. Now, the fine folks over there at uh, Arms List, let me borrow this thing so I can show it to you. I'm actually going to send it back to them. Those guys are awesome. We did a build party a couple weeks ago and I had a bunch of people show up. But here it is, man, the phosphated bolt carrier group from Daniel Defense. Now, before people start talking about this, yes, this is an expensive bolt carrier. It's probably going to retail anywhere from $108, $180, $190. Also, Daniel Defense has made some comments in the past about uh, gun control that a lot of people do not agree with, and I'm, I'm on board with that. So let's throw that out the window as for right now, because what I'm trying to do is answer a question for one of the viewers. Here we go. Let's get a close look on this thing and bring that camera on in here. Stand by. All right, so here we go. We've got this bolt carry group. It's got the Daniel Defense on the side. This parkerized or heavy phosphated coating is absolutely perfect. Now, one of the things that I will first note on this. I'm going to bring it up here so you can see it. I want you guys to look at the staking on the gas key right here. I need to cut my fingernails. Here, 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 and here. Now, in the world of perfection, it does not get any better than that. I will tell you that right now. Another thing that I notice is that when the bolt is in and out, that thing has got a perfect seal. I want you to hear that. Let's go ahead and pull this thing apart. We'll bring the firing pin out of there. One of the things I did notice about the firing pin, it is a little bit more polished than your traditional firing pins. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with this guy here in a few minutes because I want to show you that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and complete it. We'll take the uh, bolt cam pan out and we will show you this. Now, one of the things that is keeping this guy so tight inside of the carrier is you have a perfectly balanced chrome lining on the inside of that phosphate bolt carrier. Look at that thing. Absolutely beautiful. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at this thing. Now I will tell you this, the fit and finish of this is absolutely impeccable. The, uh, hold on a second. This is, I hate this part. Okay. So here we are, we've got the extractor and on the bottom of that extractor is this little thing called the extractor booster which is basically the crane donut. And I, I, I tell you what, other than it being marked MPI right here, you've got those locking lugs that look impeccable. The machining is awesome, as always. Uh, it's Daniel Defense. It just really and truly is exhibits what exactly uh, the perfect bolt carrier is supposed to be. But let's do this real quickly. Before we put it back together, because I want to go ahead and weigh it out and everything, let's, I want to show you the differences on this guy right here. 
All right, so here we are. We've got the air precision. This is nickel boron versus the phosphate, but I want to show you some of the differences. Now, we talked about that stiffness. Basically, it's the same on this guy right here. One of the differences is look at the staking on the gas key right there. Let's go ahead and put them side by side so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. On the left hand side, of course, is the Daniel Defense. Now look at the gas key staking. Staking. Somebody did somebody say stake? All right, so you'll notice that the air precision is a little bit lighter. These are more uniform. As a matter of fact, I mean in the in the industry, that's pretty damn perfect. Now, guys, is that a killer for me? No, not really. Uh, if you have an issue with that, a lot of times you can do is take a flathead screwdriver on this and just hammer that in a little bit more if you're not satisfied. Where these are staked, this is not going to come loose. Uh, let's talk about the little enhanced extractor booster that you'll find on this one as well. Get that thing out of there. First of all, let's notice the differences in the firing pin. One's polished, this one's not polished. It's not uncommon. A lot of people ask me if a $200 bolt carrier group, is it worth it? Well, guys, I have them ranging from $69 to $350. It really depends on what you're gonna be using it for and what your comfort level is. Again, the biggest thing for me is the fact that the quality control is there. And you're gonna be checking out your bolt carrier and your bolt more than anybody else. So I want you to look at the differences are, there really aren't any differences in this. I was thinking at first that this donut was a little wider than that one, but man, that is being picky, isn't it? Look at that. Well, what's the big difference? Again, quality control. Materials are basically the same. The staking, as you can see on this guy, the Daniel Defense is absolutely impeccable and perfect in every way. Uh, the gas rings are gas rings. They're gonna work regardless. These seem to be a little bit more stiff than the ones on the arrow. But again, you got nickel boron versus a phosphate coating. Uh, is it worth the additional monies? Uh, it, like I see, again, like I said, it really depends on what you're using this for. Is somebody else gonna buy this thing so you can use it in a, a high-end service rifle? But basically, it all ends up like this. What are you using it for? What is your level of comfort in using something that otherwise is perfect? Uh, have I ever had any issues out of the air precision? No, I have not. Uh, is there anything to be concerned about by using something like a tool craft? Uh, one of the gentlemen made a comment that he had two tool craft uh, bolt carriers fell on him. And I gotta be honest with you, that's uh, after what I think he said 15,000 rounds. Well, 15,000 rounds, you might wanna go ahead and start doing some checking on that. I'm not saying he did something wrong, but I will tell you this, uh, air precision, they make a good bolt carrier. Uh, as far as they put their name on this guy right here and it's a good one. But with that being said, let's go ahead and pop these two together. I wanna see if there's a weight difference in the two because wouldn't that be interesting because they are supposed to be made out of the same materials. And we're gonna bring out our old trusty scales here. All right, here we go. The Air Precision bolt carrier comes in 11.6 ounces, 11.6 ounces. So again, there you go, uh, pretty close, same materials. Uh, I think the quality control and the staking is probably gonna, uh, as evidence shows, you guys be the judge based on the information. And let me know what your thoughts are. Bolt carriers, is it worth the extra money for a Daniel Defense or, or say an Aero Precision? You got roughly about $200 here and about $130, $136 here. Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And I'm talking about those men and women in uniform who will support and fight for our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Let's go to Boy32. I am out. You guys enjoy the music. Thank <laughs> you.